parts list for the fish eater. Um, what you're going to need is two 50mm PVC elbows. You'll need two T-sections, 50mm. Uh, you will need some 50mm pipe so you can cut. So you can cut five 50mm PVC two inch wide pieces. You'll need five of them. You'll need one piece of 50mm seven inches long. You will need three 50mm caps. You will also need a 50-40mm to reducer, a 32mm piece, end piece, or joiner, 32mm joiner. Then you'll come to, you'll need three 32mm elbows piece of 32mm pipe so you can cut a 32mm 2 inch wide piece and a 32mm 6 inch wide piece. You will also need a 25mm to 1 inch thread piece and you will need I'd say get two lengths of 32mm pipe and one length of 50mm pipe to cut those pieces out you will also need a heating element I've got a 800 watt heating element off of Amazon I think it cost me $32 um, Australian there the pieces are and you'll need also a extension cord now I've got an extension cord with a, um, a trip meter on it, with a trip meter on it, so I'll be using that. Um, and they're the pieces you'll need. You'll also need some silicon as well, a tube of silicon. They are your parts, parts for building your heater for your fish tank. So, what we'll do now is we'll start building it. Alright, first thing you got to do is your 25mm 1 inch thread. Now we only need the thread part of this, so what you do is you, is you cut it just there, cut that piece off, and you grind that nut piece down, grind that down smooth so you end up with a bit like that and this is the only bit I've had to modify um, to make this work in Australia so you got to, yeah just that thread piece so you got to do that, that's first up I've already done it just and it was from a 32 mil to, sorry I've got 25, it's 32mm to 1 inch thread and you cut that just there and grind that nut off to get that piece okay so that's the first thing you've got to do Okay, once you've done that bit, once you've got that cut, you will need to find your 32mm, your 32mm joiner. So once you've cut that, you find your 32mm joiner, and that will fit inside your 32mm, like that.
Okay, get your extension cord and get fixture ends, get them all ready to go. Then what you got to do is you got to get a 32 mil, your 32 mil. So you got to get your 32 mil corner and put that in. That 32 mil, 32 mil piece that you've cut, 32 mil, six inch long piece that you've cut. That goes on next. Another 32 mil elbow goes on like that, and then you thread your a length of 32 mil pipe in there as well. So you've got all those bits on your extension cord with your 32 mil piece of pipe. Next one you thread on is your 32 mil elbow. And just for now, just put it on there like that for now. Now, I'll just move this a little bit. Righto, so now we've got all that threaded on, we're looking for 32mm piece of pipe and your 32mm joiner and that will go into that 32mm piece of pipe. So basically, you get your 32mm joiner and your 32mm bit of pipe. That little bit of joiner's got to go all the way in, be glued all the way in as tight as you can go into that piece. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue that piece in. I'm just going to go and grab my hammer. Okay, that 32mm joiner, 32mm bit of pipe that was 2 inches long, is now joined together. Now that goes, that goes on here, so it goes through there and sits on there. And then that piece that I've had to modify, goes in there, like that. And that gives me my seal, so all that is nicely sealed from there back. From here, so from that joint there, when this goes on, when that screws on there, from here back, all that's got to be waterproof sealed right up to the top of the pipe. So no water gets into here and your fishies won't like it very much and you'll probably won't like it very much so first thing i do is and see how that goes in there nice and tight so that fits in there the first thing i got to do is I've got to put it back through this, back through this bit of pipe, and then put these, connect this to here, so I can glue that bit of pipe in on it. So, 
the earth on this cord for me is the green and yellow one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a little bit off this end just to show the wires. So that shows the wire. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie it in a knot back through there. Like that. Okay. So I've got my two power and I've got my earth. So I'm going to take a bit off these ones that I need to use to show the wire. Give it a twist. The other one give it a twist. Okay, so that's the setup I need. Now joining it to the back of the element doesn't matter which side you put these these two wires on it, it, it doesn't matter I'll just go grab a screwdriver Okay, so you undo them a little bit. Put your wire on. Put your wire on and do it up other side So that's how it looks in the end. You've got this one here, tied in a knot, that will sit back there. You've got these two going on to each of the terminals of the element. This one sits back, sits back there, up the pipe. So if by any chance the water does get into the pipe and hits that, I've got one of these on the end of my extension cord and it will trip the meter tell me there's water in the pipe as a safety I'm using one of these as a safety okay so you see how the washer on there is flattened out it gives you a nice tight seal around there Next step from there is you glue that piece of pipe on. 
over there like that so that's how that ends up Okay, so that's the finished bit. It's level with there. And it gives you a seal back to here. So that is all sealed to that pipe back to there. Once that dries, I'll come back and we'll look at this piece here and what we do with that once all that is dried up. Okay, the next step is to get some silicon. Um, you can get the one where it's safe to use for fish. I'd probably recommend that one. What you do is you have made this hole in here with your joiner and everything on it. So it's all glued. And you've got your joiner in there. Now we're going to fill that up with silicon to waterproof it so it doesn't get wet. Alright, once you've got some in it, wet your finger and just keep pushing it down. Just keep pushing it in there. And keep filling it. The idea of this is to waterproof your electrical joint in case oh, it's just a safety in case of any water getting in there, it's gonna not get to those terminals. That are in there. Just keep pushing it down until it doesn't want to go down anymore. And I'm going to fill that right up to the end and then I'll get back to you. Okay, once you've put your silicon in there and sealed that inside bit, these pieces that you've threaded onto your extension cord your next 32 mil glue that on nice tight fit glue that on there I've already done it so it's nice and tight so that's how it should look like 
when you get up to there. So you've got that 32 mil glued on to that piece. From there, all you do is glue your pipe into your 32 mil. Now remember, this pipe is. Sorry, I'll measure it for you. Okay, pipe is one meter length of pipe that I've got on this. So I'm going to glue that to that 32 mil piece of pipe like that is my next section and so on give it plenty of glue make sure you get a nice tight seal in there and it doesn't leak Okay, push it on, give it a good twist, push it on, and I like to just keep a little bit of pressure on it so it doesn't try to pop itself back out while it's hardening. Um, every now and then they will try to push their cells out, that's why I like to hold mine in a little bit just to keep it there until that glue takes hold and then we should be right so what we've done now is we've got a seal from here to here and up that pipe so water can't get in inside with our extension cord we've also got that earth wire hanging out if water does get in it will trip that meter that I've put on mine That's the meter that I've put on mine. It was this this is tension cord actually come with it, so that's what I'm using. Um, yep. So if the water gets in, it will trip that meter. Okay. So once I've got to there, then it's just a matter of doing the other sections up the other end. Um, We'll have to do it this way, I'll bring out the other end. Okay, we're now up the other end of the pipe. And you can see the 32mm with that 32mm 6 inch long bit of pipe there. So my next joint will be this 32 mil that will go on there. Now you've got to make sure that that is facing the opposite way to the other end. So laying on the table, this end faces the opposite way to your other end. And that will come out of the tank. So this comes up the tank inside. That will come out. And then down the outside of the tank. So that's my next bit. And it has to face that way.
same thing, lots of glue, give it a good seal. The outside one as well. Okay, push it on, give it a little twist, and then make sure that is sitting the right way. Hold it there for a few seconds. And that's that one done. Okay, next one is your 32mm piece of pipe. So the next piece I'm going to glue on is this 32mm 6 inch long bit of pipe onto there. Okay, that's as far as I'm going to go because this T-section here, I'm actually going to, uh, this elbow, I'm actually going to take off and I'm going to put a T-section on here. I'll show you that in the next step after that. Okay. Now we're up to the other end where you don't have to glue it, there's no need to glue it. And the first section you're going to need is that 50mm T-section. And in the top of that T-section I've drilled a heap of holes. Purpose for that is cold water will be drawn into there as well. Um, and go past element. So that's why I've drilled a heap of holes there. So the 50mm t Drill a heap of holes in the top, and from here on it goes pretty quick. These pieces of 50mm uh, pipe that were cut, um, those small pieces of 50mm pipe, put one in each end, so you put one in that end, one in that end, give it a good, make sure it's in there nice and tight, then you grab a 50mm section now opposite facing it goes on that way it sits like that so that that section there goes out there this T section comes out this way so it sits like that then what you do is you grab your other T 50 mil T that goes on that side make sure it all sits nice and flat I might put these on these sides. Like that. So you should have a piece that looks like looks like this. With those holes in the middle, your two elbows, your two elbows coming out this way. I think I call them T's with their elbows, 50mm elbows, coming out that way. Once you get to there these end caps now you drill a heap of holes in the end caps so they're 50 mil caps with a bit of 50 mil pipe that we did at the start in materials so that piece goes on there like that sits there like that another one same thing holes in there that one sits on there so you should have a piece that looks like that 
the water, cold water is going to be drawn into these holes you go past the element once you get from there you grab your 50 mil 7 inch piece of pipe that you've cut whack that on so it sits like that then you come up to your 50 mil T section And what you do with that 50mm T-section, you've got your 50mm, 40mm reducer in the end of that. Now that sits up this way. It sits on there like that. So that sits up there like that. Come back this way a bit, so that's sitting there like that. You grab your last end cap with holes in it with your bit of pipe in the end that sits on the top that's your finished base that's what your base looks like you don't have to um, glue anything there's no need to glue anything on it what happens from there is your other piece that you've done with your heater element on it with your uh, 40 mil bit on there 40 mil straight bit that fits inside there nice and tight that sits up straight okay so that's basically how it sits now from here back from here back, in there, up here, should be waterproof, so no water at all can get in. Okay, so that's that's the finished heater. I'll just get a um, get the camera off the tripod and show you. Okay, so this is where your water comes in this end, into those holes there, gets drawn over the heater element and the hot water comes up out of this section. That's your end piece finished up to there. Now that last 